Welcome to another exciting week of the Metro Plus show, where we present to you fascinating stories from your favorite newspaper supplement, the Hindu Metro Plus. This week, we have quite a few interesting personalities for you to meet, so let's get straight to it. First up is a musical icon, a referred by many as one of the best voices to emerge from the South Indian musical tradition. A full-throated personalized style is recognized almost instantaneously the world over. Meet the charismatic Carnatic vocalist Aruna Sairam. The deep emotional impact of her music is known to move audiences the world over. Her powerful voice and her magical stage presence have a tendency to leave both the young and the old in a state of trance. Padmashri Aruna Sairam's journey to musical stardom began with her birth into a family with a deep love for music. I was born in Bombay and uh, first lessons were with my mother. She had learned from great masters herself and both um, my mom and dad loved music very deeply. At the age of about 10, I think I became a disciple of Srimati T. Brinda who came home and stayed with us for months together every year. But more than that, I think uh, the fact that uh, our home was like a home that would welcome all the musicians, dancers, storytellers, painters, anybody that walked into Bombay, walked into our house. And uh, meeting these people and seeing them for real life uh, when you were in an impressionable age, I think that deeply inspired me to do what I'm doing. Today, Arunaji has a large audience for Carnatic music, not only throughout India, but also amidst European listeners. Quite recently, she gained herself yet another fan, an individual definitely worth mentioning, the Congress President, Ms. Sonia Gandhi. My um, exposure to the Gandhi family and the Nehru family was a very interesting thing and more recently for Rajiv Gandhiji's memorial at Veer Bhumi and Sonia Ji personally uh, had invited me and written to me, asked me to come over and uh, I had a meeting with her at her place. Most of all what um, really touched me was uh, the way she was waiting for us and the way she ushered us into her living room. Uh, almost like any normal housewife would do who's anxiously waiting for guests. While she was talking something very important, uh, you know, for example, the importance of what I'm doing and uh, uh, spurring me to think about what I'm be going to be doing next after having done what I have done now, whether I'm going to do something that is going to leave this music uh, for the next generation. <laughs> As a practice, Arunaji gives several recitals during the celebrated Madras Musical Festival in December. And today, she has agreed to treat us to something no concert of hers is complete without, an abang. Bhakta jana bhatsale Nama amane tu vishwachi janani Shirabdhi nivasini jagadambe Bhakta jana bhatsale Arunaji is quite busy these days, not just with the performances, but for a mission to take Carnatic music to much more people. The way I started and the way I managed to communicate through music to a large number of people is extremely moving and uh, it makes me to think that if this music can communicate so much to so many people, there's probably something more that it can do, uh, which, uh, which I can explore. And so I'm on this trajectory, I'm thinking about uh, changing the way I'm looking at uh, what I'm doing and uh, really take this communication between me and the people uh, to a level where, I mean, everybody 
um, is drawn into it, um, whether they know about it, they don't know about it, whatever. I'm, I'm just uh, thinking many things and you're going to see something different, something new, very fresh from me uh, starting next year. Well, I guess we have to hold on a little longer to find out what Arunaji has in store for us. When we return, SR Janakiraman takes us through his fond memories of Madras and we meet an individual for whom brushes and paints have been best companions.